What's up, y'all? It's Brandon from Lossy Gaming, and uh, I'm back with my Let's Play in Scum. So, you might notice a couple things are different about the background. Uh, we are now in build 0 0.5. There was a massive update uh, in the time that I was away. Uh, yes, I'm going to be trying to pick this, uh, pick this Let's Play back up again. So, uh, the plan, which never survives contact with the game, at least in my experience, is to start heading south so that we can at least start checking out the island part of this and then maybe work our way east along the islands uh, and check out the new eastern part of the map. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, and we are back in the game. As you can see, it is daytime. Uh, so just as a kind of a way to re-familiarize myself with the controls of this game, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a quick loot of this little town that we've been in. Ooh, nice extra details on the truck. Let's see. Nope, you completely lost your charge. It happened again. All right, so uh, that is no longer going to be an option for us. I can get out of there. Uh, so I can't just drive south. I'm going to have to actually walk down there. Um, I did notice also that there were boats added in the update, so kind of excited to try out a boat, see how that works out. But... Let's, uh, let's start by searching this up and getting some stuff going. Now, as I recall, in the last episode I was injured, so let's check my metabolism. I am still injured, so it's a good thing I found those rags. Let's go ahead and patch my wounds. And uh, I do recall um, pretty distinctly that I lost my sword last time. So I'm going to be trying to uh, craft a new sword before we get going, uh, if nothing else, because swords... Are, well, the sword is starting to become my favorite uh, melee weapon for this game. So, start looting up. Another clean rag. Uh, I'll get that in a minute. Let's finish checking downstairs. Okay. Oop, apparently that's that one. Another in the vicinity. Again, it has been a little while since I played this game. There are a lot of controls in this game, so it's going to take me a bit to uh, get reacquainted with things. That is a nice metal pipe. I'm pretty sure I can use that for things. Uh, rags. Ooh, actually, I wonder if I could use a metal pipe to craft an improvised shotgun, because I think I have some uh, shotgun shells somewhere. That could be nice. All right. Yes, thread. Sewing kit. That is awesome. And, of course, I did not empty my inventory, so I'm going to do that real fast and be right back. Okay, so we are back in the house. Um, just, uh, I believe we finished searching up. Ah, yeah, it was here. Rubber and thread. Uh, thread's great for sewing kits, uh, so I can actually make some of the more advanced stuff. Uh, I'll have to combine it with one of the bones I got last time, which was actually a great find. Now I'm seeing it. So, let's check these trash bags, nails. Okay. So far, uh, so far not a whole lot that's very interesting. Um, I don't quite want to cut to a, uh, I don't quite want to cut to a montage right now because again I'm still getting reacquainted with the controls and I'm kind of thinking something hilarious might happen because of that uh, especially there happens to be another puppet in here so let's see so far not seeing a whole lot all right puppet in here nope back there nope vicinity nothing okay that, no, those drawers, nothing. Open. Here's the first. Well, here's what. Er, here's where a puppet was. Uh, <laughs> back in I want to say episode one or something. No, it was episode two. It was episode two because episode one I was. Well, that was the stuff that got erased. Okay, so that was all of nothing. Uh, this house has been a pretty big bust so far. Except, well, no, the the metal pipe was a win. The metal pipe was definitely a win. Got that. All right. Uh, so, I think next up, I'm going to hit up this barn, 
This is where I found the backpack I'm currently using. Probably nothing that exciting this time. I have a ton of feathers if I want to craft some arrows, and I really don't think I want to. So I'm not going to be grabbing them. I don't know what feathers are used for otherwise, so... If you happen to know what, what I can use a feather for other than an arrow... Actually, I'll, I'll check that out once I get back to the, once I get back to the crate. Bobby pin, okay. And I'm kind of in a waste not want not uh, mentality on the uh, rags and such. I'm hoping they add or added already. Uh, I, I I skimmed the patch notes. I didn't look into them too carefully. I hope they added the ability to. Um, <laughs> Oh, he's got a uh, bulletproof vest. Uh, I hope they had the ability to create thread from rag strips. That'd be that actually be quite nice. All right, so that's a stab proof vest at five percent. That's a stab proof vest at five percent. Uh, that's not an improvement. Um, wire something. It's not a lot, but something. Just a couple of matches there. Yeah, rag strips. All right. All right. So let's get searching. Open finger gloves. What do I have now? Looks like I don't have. Ah, I have an. I have a different kind of open finger gloves. So taking those. Insulating rubber gloves. I'm sure this is something to do with electricity, so might be useful. All right, search you up. Rag strips. I I know I just literally said I'm in a waste not want not uh, mood when it comes to uh, rag strips, but I think that I think this is getting a little excessive. A white baseball cap. Oh, that's an interesting color. I'll take it. Anything here? Yes. Yes. Oh, so much yes. Uh. 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 Drop. Open inventory. Oh, this is freaking perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Okay. So, hiking backpack is back. It is also in a very nice, uh, looks like dark blue, maybe black color. I'm liking this so far. Whew. Our looting just got a lot better. Okay. So, backpack on. School backpack. We're going to take that as a backup backpack. That was just a Halloween mat. Tyrone shoelaces mask. Uh, I, no thanks. Okay. So one thing I noticed that we are a little bit low on is food. So, dang it, no food. Alright. Uh, nothing down here. Lead plate, I think I can use that to craft some bullets. Anything here? Nails and scrap metal. Okay, let's head on upstairs. And if there's, uh, I think this, I think this is the house that I'm gonna. You've got to be kidding me. Two identical hiking backpacks. What? What are the odds? What are the odds of two identical hiking backpacks? Wow. Okay, uh, tracksuit top there. Where I don't really have any other places to put that, but I, you know, I can put some of this other stuff in other places. And I might be able to stick a hiking backpack in my hiking backpack. Let's see if we can do that. Let's clear out a little space. That'll work just fine. Wait a Oh. No? Oh. It's got to be a little wire. Oops. <laughs> okay. Let's do that. And that'll work now. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to do a uh, quick montage of the rest of the looting here. I'll cut back if I do something silly or... <laughs> 
if I find something, uh, find something particularly good. So, with that, I'll be right back. in town so far so I'm just gonna hit up the one by our place and that's gonna be the last place I uh, last place I raid around here okay so far not a whole lot let's go search this up Sunglasses. Hmm. Kind of need to keep the, uh. Kind of need to keep the night vision goggles on because they're a little bit on the big side, but. That's cool. Uh, still not into the mask. Uh, some things never change, you know. Always evaluate the merits of the clothing based on the appearance, based on the fashion of it. And I'm actually out of space, so I'm going to quickly drop everything off. Thankfully, I ran out of space right next to my storage area. So, let's go ahead and... Oh, man. I might have too much stuff for this. I might legit have to build a second storage area. Looking at this. Um, let's see, things I can sacrifice, not going to use that, like, literally ever, I have a backup hiking backpack, I have a backup school backpack, I'm not going to use that one, uh, uh, staring at this, I'm probably never, you know, I could probably start consolidating my rag strips, so let's go into crafting, and bundle of rags, bundle of rags, bundle of rags. Alright, there's bundle of rag strips, bundle of rags. There we go. Make sure we're using the right components. Drop the rag strips on the ground. Craft them up. Make a few bundles of rag strips. And there we go. So, uh, I did notice that there was a craftable... What was it? Automatic shot, automatic crossbow. Uh, in one of the updates, the rubber ratata. So, ah, uh, okay. So you require a drill and a workbench. Okay. Or a drill lathe. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind. But all right, don't have a drill. All right, so. Now that's all consolidated. Just drop a couple of those in here, and I've lost very little material in doing that. And gained quite a bit of space, at least hopefully. So I'm gonna do some inventory management and come back. Alright, so with uh, most of the inventory management done, I still have to check out uh, what I still have in the truck. Uh, so let's go ahead and check that out right now. Um, I pretty much decided what I'm going to be taking with me on, I guess you, I guess you would call it, uh, the, the trip south, if you will. Although I'm not, at the moment, uh, entirely convinced that south is the best way to go. And the reason I'm saying it might not be the best way to go is because I'm thinking if I go east I might be able to run into some food at some point relatively soon by the way I'm just 
grabbing the things I'm probably going to need. Also, cans are always good. And I found a way to open, uh, to open cans of food with a knife, so that's, that's going to be useful. Anyway, um, I know I can find, um, I know I can find food in farms going east. I don't really know that I can do that going south. Uh, so that's why I'm kind of thinking going east might be a better bet than going south. So, let's just move a couple things around here. Um, what am I going to need to take this? I'm going to need a 4x4. Four four. Okay. Let's move one more thing. A little optimization there so I can fit something in there. And I'll at least be able to take a small toolbox. I just heard something like wind chimes and it kind of scared me um so back to this is there anything else I want to take with me uh I believe I need to take all my food I have all my food um but yeah that's that's kind of a kind of a big point right now like I am low on food so I need to find some uh, I already ate up the uh, chow mein I had in there, so that's not going to be an option. Also, I literally just realized I didn't check this room. I instantly regret it. Because I don't want those. Okay, so... Oh, uh, the crafting I did, I crafted up an improvised shotgun as well as a metal sword. Uh, and that was... That was mostly just to get prepped for the journey. So, now uh, that's done. We're going to start. I believe this is south. Uh, I want to go east. Yeah. Oh, no. No, I need to go north. Yeah, I'm going north. Um, yeah, I'm going to hope this is north. Now, north would be wherever the intersection of the road is. Find the road, and you'll be able to find north. Uh, and the reason for that is because apparently a drop landed over there. And drops have food. So, that's what I'm going for right now. I think this direction is the road. Apparently I woke somebody up. Okay. So I'm gonna watch my back. There we go. Come here, fatty. Down. Down, girl. Down. There we go. Alright. Search her up in case there's anything good. Uh, the answer to that is a solid no. Alright. So I know where the bend in the road is going that way. I'm gonna head back this way. Or rather, if I head back this way... That's going to be going west, so I need to head this direction, and that will be north. Alright, so that's the direction I'm going to go at a light jog. And I'm going to cut back, as usual, uh, if something, uh, something interesting comes up. And something interesting literally just came up, and that something is, um, the drop, the drop is gone. I, I missed it, which kind of stinks. Okay, so, back to the original plan, I know I can find food, or I should say farmlands in the east, but also to the north. I'm seeing some in C4, uh, just looking at this map. So, I'm going to start heading east, because I'm thinking, I'm thinking that might be a little bit, um, might be a little bit closer to some of the, uh, the new stuff. Oh no! Southeast, southeast to this this town right here. 
because there's farmland all along here. Can probably pick up some uh, fruits and vegetables there. So yeah, that's the direction I'm gonna go. By the way, uh, I do see an animal in the top right. I believe that is a bear. I'm not dealing with that right now. Even with a uh, even with a semi-functional shotgun, yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna deal with that. So I'm just keeping an eye on this to, to get an idea of which direction I'm going. I'm going in about the right direction. So actually, if I follow the road, I'll probably get there a little bit easier. So yeah, gonna go ahead, uh, cut out and cut back when something happens. Wow, this uh, the 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 weather part of the update, like all the leaves crinkling, that is actually a really cool uh, really cool thing they had because it's legit kind of make me a little paranoid. <laughs> so, mad props to the developers for putting that in because honestly, it it kind of ups the horror factor a little bit of this game. Like, it, it, it takes it from where it was to now hearing something might mean something, or it might mean nothing at all. This is the area I saw that I thought I might be able to get some food, because uh, I thought it kind of looked like farms, and I'm finding out that it doesn't look like farms at all. Wow. Uh, I might have tried another part of the new update, which is fishing. Um, I don't know exactly what I need for fishing. Like, can I just make a line and get some bait and drop it in, or do I, like, actually need to make the full pole and bobber and that kind of thing? Uh... I don't think there's fish traps. I don't think that that part was added to the game. So... Unfortunately, it looks like that there's going to be at least some extra little bit of complexity when it comes to, uh fishing, which I appreciate for this game. I, I really appreciate that. Um, any extra complexity they add to a game that has a primary selling point of complexity, I, I am entirely down with. Well, complexity and realism. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably have to play with this uh, between now and the next session. I guess that's a mushroom. Ah, yeah, that's a mushroom. Cool. And that should... Looking around. Don't see any puppets. Um, yeah, I think I have to... I think I have to take a leak here. Because apparently my bladder volume is a little bit on the high side. Like, yikes. Um, I think this guy was about to drop his pants and just take a leak any second now. So, whew, that was close. Cool. All right, and uh, how are we for? Oh wow. Uh, how you? Oh, you don't have good vitamin D. You have good B five. You could be four. Uh, carbs, zinc. B9, eh, calories, eat all. Oh, shoot, no, 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 do not eat all. That thing is going to fill on my stomach real fast. I have to be careful of that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this as trail food. Um, and apparently there's a second one here. How big are you? Oh, dang, you are, you're a big boy. All right. So let's see if I can free up just enough room to take a second one. Uh, let's go ahead and eat this. Check the metabolism. Okay, cool. And then gonna. Oh, you're a really big boy. Like, how big are we talking? Okay, so you have one. Oh, you're 1.6 kilograms right now. So let's eat another, another little bit of you, and that's that's about all I can safely eat right now. And I can actually fit you in there. Cool, 1.4, and can't quite fit those guys in there by weight, but 
should be able to take that whole thing. Please don't go over, please don't go over, please don't go over, please don't go over, please don't go over. Yes, okay. So, stomach is full. Cool. And... Gonna go ahead and pick that up. Apparently, that makes it vanish. Okay, so, uh, slightly, uh, slightly buggy food. Good to know. Okay. Uh, I was trying to look, I was trying to keep an eye out for mushrooms, but I think I'm actually set on those, or, uh, set on food for at least the trail over. Hyperthermia. It's too much heat. So I gotta take some weight off, which... Don't want to go Spitfire Jack. I'm going to go Cotton Hoodie. And move my bones over there. Please tell me I... Yeah. Okay, so I'm digesting that fast enough. I can eat the aloe vera. Put the thread there. Drop the hoodie. Um, which kind of stinks. That's That's a nice condition hoodie. It's got some extra inventory space, but I have to lower my temperature. Uh, let's see. What am I doing as far as temperature goes? Oh, oh, I think it was just the sprinting that did it. So how much, what does this do? Okay. Uh, it's pro it's getting a little bit on the late side. It's probably gonna be fine. Probably. Famous last words. <laughs> yeah, famous, famous last words on that one. But uh, oh, you know what? I'll bet it is. I'm in a desert environment. And I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a freaking beanie in a desert environment. Wow, nice, nice going there. Wearing a beanie and hiking boots when it's hot out. Okay, uh, that was a somewhat major dirt. I don't think this is going to be the police town of this particular, uh, of this particular sector, but. It is a sizable town, so probably going to do some looting. Looks like there's a gas station up there. Alright, this could work. Campbell? Uh, I doubt I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm going to guess it. Uh, I do have the shotgun, but I have fairly limited ammo for it, so... The idea is to use it very sparingly, and that is something right back there. Rather inside there. Carrot juice. I know that's good for you, I don't know what it does. Uh, rose hips, I guess I can eat that. Trade that for the carrot juice. Um, you know what, this, this is good visibility. Puppets can't reach in here. It's not even the center of town, but the town is also not too ridiculously big, and some of the good looting spots are right around here. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this, uh, orange box my temporary base. So, time to cut down a tree and... Get some logs for planks, and not wake up that particular puppet over there. I don't have a stealthy, uh, stealthy range weapon anymore. Kind of the downside of upgrading from bows to guns, with the upside being, when I shoot something, it's probably going to go down in one hit. So 
So I'm just going to chop this up. And uh, start, start hauling. And I will see you guys when I have the box built. Or that puppet decides to wander a little too close and I got to take care of business. And we have a chest. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start dumping off stuff in here that I don't necessarily need to carry everywhere with me. And that I don't want to lose if I die. And I'm also, and I'm going to have to include, um, I think I'm going to have to include uh, my jacket and a couple of other uh, articles of clothing. Like, if I see this, I'm still of hyperthermia so I'm guessing my uh, my temperature is not going down fast enough so we'll kind of have to play that one by ear because I don't know exactly how to treat that uh, like like I know I can just you know take out my clothes and jump in the water but like it, there's no water here so Start with. I guess my Spitfire jacket is an easy one. I'm down to a t shirt, I believe. I believe I have two pairs of pants on, so. I can at least get rid of these. Uh, shirt and jeans should be just fine for what I'm doing right now. Along with my uh, boots. That's not. Contributing, that's not contributing. Okay. Um, guess we can keep all those. Yeah, let's let's uh, drop that off just so I don't lose it. That I'm actively using, but I probably won't need to use for the combat that I'm going into, so let's get rid of that for now, actually. Get rid of that. So I'm closed up. And you're ready for a little combat. Go fast. 100% uh, bolts, I'll take those. Alright, so I remember a puppet this way. And I'm not trusting my eyes. There you are. Get out of here. Crud. Uh, physical injury. So I'm going to need to... See if I can patch that up. Don't know how bad it is, though. Oh, gunpowder and a magnifying glass. Alright, let's try cutting that into rags. Nope. I cannot, in fact, cure myself with that, and I have no bandages there. So I'm either going to have to sacrifice a piece of my clothing where. Beanie's the easy one. Yeah, Beanie's the easy one. Let's cut that in the rags. Patch ones. Uh, by the way, I also did give myself a haircut and a beard cut uh, with a knife, so that's why my hair is looking like that. And maybe I should put my night vision goggles away. Well, I'm thinking about it. This is why I don't want to really think about what I'd do if I lost those. So, up here. And night vision goggles. Away. Uh, yeah, I can keep the gloves. Alright. So now, it's time to at least loot a little bit. Okay. 
there's an axe right off the bat. A uh, good start, some nails. Search you up. Bolts, okay. I heard the growl. I don't see the puppet. So I'm going to hope it's the one I already know about. I do, however, see food in here, so that's where I'm going next. Also looks like a couple other things. So this could be exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, keeping a uh, weather eye out for more puppets. I think I'm going to go in the back, and there's a well here. Perfect. Okay. So it looks like this place is pretty much completely open to the outside viewer. So, some soda. Don't really need that. Corn. Now we're getting somewhere. Coal in a can. Eh. Uh, I'm trying to collect the canned stuff. Okay. Cotton shirt. Cotton shirt. We'll see how cold it gets later, but, uh... Okay, so I am actually just perfectly the right temperature right now. Cool. Uh, but if it gets a little too cold later, I'll probably put that on. Just to keep warm without getting too warm. Uh, anything else in the vicinity? The little convenience store has been a very nice loot so far. Nope, that's it. Okay. Yeah, I almost forgot. Search this thing. None? Okay. Um, this van looks kind of promising. Anything in here? Nope, okay. Anything in the other trash? Nope. And the van. Couple one hundred percent pieces of scrap. I will take those. Uh, more hundred percent scrap. Cool. Right there. Oh, crud! Okay, that is a police puppet. right back down. Okay. Whew. Thinking about this for two seconds. Police puppet, search. If there's a police puppet, there might actually be a police st station here. Uh, right helmet, uh, even if it's not in good condition, that can still be useful. Money, that's a stab proof vest, as opposed to my stab proof vest, that is a little bit better condition. Not a bomb clava guy, bad condition, combat boots, not interested. Uh, I can probably repair some of this stuff, but I don't really need to. Um, what I got is good enough condition. So, I'm going to keep that helmet. And dump some stuff. I think I need to go looking for that police station, because that be a surprise, decent rate. Uh, so far I've gotten pretty unlucky when it comes to police stations. So I'm not expecting a whole lot, but you know, I have been wrong every session. I say I'm going to do one thing and it turns out that I end up doing something else, so. They came from about that direction. Oh, never mind. That flat top building is the freaking police station. Wow. Um. So let's go ahead and search this guy up. Anything good? And a little bit of wire. That's about it. Alright. Since I already took out the boss of the police station, um... Alright, let's, uh, let's raid another police station. I believe this is police station number three. Uh... 
keeping it slow so I don't attract too much attention. If I get lucky, I might I might find like a gun or something just hanging out, but I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. All right, we are closed up. Plastic scissors, okay. Uh, well, um, a block 21. Firing 45 ACP. Okay, that's, that's, I think that's my first, like, real gun. Cool. Uh, never mind, this police station might actually turn out to be a pretty good raid. Coffee cup. Clear the floor. By the way, I'm not picking any of the locks because... I don't have enough screwdrivers for that. I'm saving them for when I uh, have a drop, so I have a much better chance of getting something. Okay. This side's clear. Let's head over to the other side. Again, I'm really not thinking I'm going to get too much more lucky than I've already gotten with this, but... Well, like I said, I've been wrong. <laughs> Uh, that guy's down. And this floor is clear. Just going to search him up. Well, 94% tactical gloves. That's actually a good find. Um, I don't know how they are for warmth or such, but still, 94%. Decent gloves. Uh, that's that's a solid take. All right. Uh, so far, don't see any sleepers. I think the top floor is clear. That's construction boots. Decent condition. Okay. I don't see anything in the vicinity. Alright, let's uh let's go in this place. One hundred percent beanie. Um I'm gonna keep the helmet on for now. because uh, it is some amount of armor. Uh blue baseball cap. That's probably a better choice of uh headwear in this situation, I think. Uh, just, just in general. Okay, nothing there. Uh, the reason I'm thinking that is because it is still kind of, uh, kind of warm out. At least during the daytime, so probably don't want to, uh, be wearing a beanie, at least in this environment. Dream Reaper cap. You know what? I'm gonna go for that. Uh, if anything else, just if nothing else, just because it kind of looks cool. Yes, earplugs. Boom. Uh, earplugs let you use uh, guns without destroying your hearing, and they don't take away a whole lot from the uh, the overall appearance of the character, unlike earmuffs. So that is amazing. Cindy's empty. All right, I think the top floor has been looted. Let me check these boxes over here. Did I already get them? Yes, I did. All right, bottom floor. You know, I take it back. This uh, this police station raid has turned out pretty well. Um, cool safety pin box. I still don't have a matching gun. Uh, clip and ammunition, which is kind of my, uh, my gate before I, uh, decide to take on a bunker. Um, at least so I can have a reasonable chance of, so, figures, a reasonable chance of dealing with any, uh, swarms of puppets or any, uh, suicide puppets. Um, what... Which is actually, uh, or I should say, was 
a uh, contributing factor to the reason why it took me so long to get back into this game. Because I was thinking, well, it's going to take a while for me to get there. Uh, it's going to be a lot of grinding, but it's like, eh, you know what? You know what? Uh, it, the series was doing okay. Oh, cool. Batteries. And a safety pin box. Um, since I'm not using a vehicle, I'm not sure what that's going to do. Um, okay. Let's search up these boxes. Nothing. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be lucky enough to get any 45 ACP, but hey. It is a pistol. Vicinity's empty. Vicinity's still empty. Uh, okay. Solid little raid there. First time I've said that about a police station raid, actually. Uh, this whole, uh, this whole time. Alright, so I think I need to head up on top of the roof next. Which is this way, if I'm not being silly. Yeah, just right up here. Okay, okay. Uh, the vicinity looks pretty empty. We are kind of getting into nighttime, um, but I think, uh, I, th I think at worst case, I might, I think at worst case, what I'm going to do is do a little bit of raiding off camera, um, during the night. They come back when I uh, actually have a little bit more to show you guys. But uh, yeah, I think the I think the days of uh, free gun on top, <laughs> on the roof of the cops shop are uh, are over us. Are over. So, one moment to check the time of the recording. And I think that's just. And I think that's gonna just about do it. So. With this uh, newly redone uh, sky that is significantly less realistic, uh, devs, you, you gotta dim the stars a little. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say thank you guys for watching. If you like the video and want to see more chill gaming content like it, you can hit the subscribe and notification buttons down below. Also, uh, if, you're, if you want to support the channel, please leave me a like. Um, it really helps me out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all later.